we want to identify the control panel features for the C models. First, there is the child safety lock. Press for three seconds to disengage. The economy feature. This allows for additional energy savings. Timer 1 and 2. Override. This will temporarily bypass any timers and will allow for operation in between or outside of the normal timer periods. Temperature control and display. This display will dim to save a little extra power during periods when no buttons are being pressed. Timer and clock setup. The clock will need to be set for proper timer operation. Setback feature. This allows for energy savings when no one is present in the structure or can be used as a frost protection feature. Restricted filter indicator lets you know that not enough airflow is passing through its cabinet, which is generally an indication that the air filter has become clogged. Operation lamp. The functioning of this lamp is important as it gives you the current status of the heater. For example, green is standby, meaning the unit is powered on but not operating. Solid red means flame is present and the furnace is producing warm air. Flashing red indicates a fault code is present. And finally, the on-off button. We want to identify the control panel features for the ES38. First, there is the child safety lock. You will need to press both buttons simultaneously to engage and press for three seconds to disengage. The economy feature. This allows for additional energy savings. Timer 1 and 2. Override. This will temporarily bypass any timers and will allow for operation in between or outside of the normal timer periods. Temperature control and display. This display will dim to save a little extra power during periods when no buttons are being pressed. Timer and clock setup. The clock will need to be set for proper timer operation. Setback feature. This allows for energy savings when no one is present in the structure or can be used as a frost protection feature. Restricted filter indicator. This is located on the front panel and lets you know that not enough airflow is passing through its cabinet, which is generally an indication that the air filter has become clogged. Operation lamp. The functioning of this lamp is important as it gives you the current status of the heater. For example, green is standby, meaning the unit is powered on but not operating. Solid red means flame is present and the furnace is producing warm air. Flashing red indicates a fault code is present. This lamp is also located on the front panel. And finally, the on-off button. To operate the unit without timers, simply turn the unit on and press the up or down arrows to set the desired temperature. The furnace will then operate as needed to maintain the set temperature and will do so on a 24 hour per day basis. The economy setting is designed to save gas over time. The economy function operates on the theory that many people will not notice small temperature changes over an extended period of time. If the room reaches the set temperature and the furnace turns off, and the room temperature does not drop below the set temperature for 30 minutes, the temperature setting will be reduced by 2 degrees Fahrenheit. This reduction will not be displayed on the control panel. If the furnace sits for an additional 30 minutes without dropping below the new set temperature, the setting will again be reduced by 2 degrees Fahrenheit. The maximum temperature reduction will not exceed 4 degrees Fahrenheit. This reduction will not occur if the unit cannot achieve and maintain the initial set temperature. For example, we have an initial set temperature of 70 degrees. After 30 minutes of maintaining 70 degrees, the unit will drop the set temperature and maintain 68 degrees Fahrenheit. After 30 minutes of maintaining 68 degrees, the unit will drop the set temperature again and maintain 66 degrees. At this point, no further reduction will occur.
At any point in this process, if the furnace turns back on, it will bring the room up to the original set temperature. To set the clock, start with the unit plugged in, but turned off. Next, press the program or set times button one time, and the LED beside the word clock will be illuminated. At that point, use your up or down arrows to adjust the clock setting to the desired time. Once you have the desired setting, press the program or set times button. as many times as necessary until all of the LEDs turn off. If you need to reset the clock due to a time change or power outage, simply repeat the procedure by pressing the program or set times button until the LED is flashing beside the word clock. Then use your up or down arrows to readjust to the correct setting. Again, press the program or set times button until all of the LEDs are off. The Renai C-Series direct vent furnaces have two primary methods of operation. One as a thermostatically controlled furnace. When turned on with no timer set, the furnace will use feedback from the room temperature thermistor to maintain the set temperature 24 hours a day. And two as a programmable furnace with two separate timers plus the setback. The timers allow for two separate heating events to be set during a 24-hour period. Timer 1 and Timer 2 can be used independently or together, and can be used in conjunction with the setback function. Note, Renai direct vent furnaces are designed to attempt to heat the area up to the set temperature by the beginning of the timer event, meaning the furnace can turn on prior to the beginning of the timer period. The clock must be set before you can set or use the timers. To set times, press the program button until the green LED is illuminated for the setting you wish to change. For example, timer 1 on, timer 1 off, timer 1 temperature, timer 2 on, timer 2 off, and timer 2 temperature. Once you have selected the setting you wish to change, use the up or down arrows to make the adjustments. Once you've made your adjustments, press the program or set times button as many times as needed to turn off all the LEDs and display the clock setting again. In this example, we have the clock set at 3.30 p.m. The timer one on is at 6 a.m. Timer 1 off is at 9 a.m. with a temperature setting of 74 degrees. Timer 2 on is at 3 p.m. Timer 2 off is at 10 p.m. with a temperature setting of 70 degrees. Now that the timers are set, in order to activate the timer, I must turn the unit on and press the button for the timers I wish to engage. Timer 1 is engaged, but since it is outside of its timer setting, the unit will not operate and the LED for timer 1 will remain solid. If I select timer 2, I am inside of its timer period, the unit will attempt to operate, and the LED for timer 2 will flash. To disengage a timer, simply press the button again. If needed, the override button can be selected to temporarily override timer settings, turning the unit on or off. If the unit is operating during a timer period, pressing override will turn the unit off until the next timer period begins then it will return to the normal timer operation. If the unit is off between timer periods, pressing override will turn the unit on. 
the unit will continue to operate until the end of the next timer period, then it will return to normal timer operation. If override is disengaged, the unit will resume regular timer operation. Setback allows a minimum temperature to be set and maintained between timer events or while the unit is turned off. The primary function of setback is to reduce room temperature and gas usage during periods of vacancy or inactivity, such as when the occupants are away or are sleeping. Note, for normal use, it is not advisable to set setback more than 4 to 6 degrees below the initial set temperature as this could result in increased gas usage as the furnace brings the room back up to the set temperature. This feature can also be used as frost protection during extended periods of vacancy. The setback temperature can be set as low as 38 degrees Fahrenheit or as high as 78 degrees Fahrenheit. If setback is engaged, it will remain active even if the unit is turned off. If power is lost and setback is on, it will remain on when power is restored. The following example shows how the timers and setback function can be used together. We have occupants that wake at 6 a.m. The home is empty from 9 a.m. until 4 p.m. The occupants sleep from 11 p.m. until 6 a.m. Operation temperature is set at 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Timer 1 is set from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. Timer 2 is set from 4 p.m. to 11 p.m. The setback is set to 66 degrees Fahrenheit. If the furnace is turned off but the setback function is left on, the unit will maintain the minimum setback temperature 24 hours a day or until the furnace is turned back on. To engage setback with the unit turned off but plugged in, press the setback button. The current setback temperature will be displayed. Use the up or down arrows to change the setback to the desired temperature. Note that when setback is engaged, the unit will turn on and perform a self-test, then turn off if the room is above the setback temperature. It is important that you understand that the room temperature displayed on the furnace is measured behind the unit a few inches above floor level. This means that the temperature reading on the control panel may not match exactly the temperature readings on any other thermometers or thermostats that are likely located higher somewhere else in the room or structure. Our advice is to set the Renai Direct Vent Furnace to a temperature setting that is comfortable for your environment and not necessarily to match another thermometer or thermostat.